you are running your business. Either you rent the property from somebody else, or you rent it out to somebody else, or you are the middleman as a broker or investor or the manager. And there's one issue, very sensitive. At least I, I thought it's very sensitive because once in a while, I have a customer come to see me. Okay. Anybody hear about ADA? ADA. Very sensitive issue. Okay, and uh, hopefully, what not happen to you? Okay. How about this ADA? No. How about this? Eventually, when I tell you, you, you know what it is. Before I tell you, you know, anything in your mind. If people say ADA, you heard about ADA? What's ADA? It's very tedious, okay? Very troubling. ADA means American Disabled Act. American Disabled Act. I'm disabled people, I don't. I have a blue, blue card in my car, okay? Disabled mean as the owner of the real estate, you need to provide certain facility to accommodate for those people that are disabled. Eventually, the legislative intent was very good. And this is a federal law, federal law, okay? American Disabled Act. It is federal law. <coughs> So you see, the good thing is for the public park, parking lot, you must reserve the space, right, for certain people. And not only that, um, say for example, your, the building must provide the, the elevator, right, or the ramp. If you, know, you have a step up, you need to provide like a ramp. So for those people, they have the, the, the wheelchair, they can use it. So eventually, the, the legislative intent is very good. However, I've, I feel it, it, it has been abused. This law has been abused. When I say abuse, you need to be very careful okay, in the future when you're running your business. Because once in a while, I have a client come to see me, and they are small business owner, small city small restaurant and laundry, okay, very small business. And they got sued. I believe I, I mentioned this to you, right? I don't remember. I remember I mentioned this some, somehow in the class, probably this class, right? Another real estate class, right? And those small business owners just come to see me and say, wow, I got sued. I said, what happened? And when they just mention to me only five seconds or even 10 seconds, I know. I said, oh, and I'm, I'm not surprised. What happened? They got the lawsuit from the people they never know about it. They, they even don't know who, who this person is. And this person just filed a lawsuit. And what's, what's the, the major point of the lawsuit? That person claim the business owner does not provide sufficient facility according to the standard of ADA. Say for example, there's no ramp, there's no sufficient parking lot reserve for handicap, and though there's no elevator. Wow. And I say, I'm not surprised because I heard about this all the time, all the time. So that really depends on your luck eventually. Your bad luck, you receive this. You are in the good luck, you never seen this. You never heard about that. All right? So at least when we talk about ADA, if you want to run your business, especially you have facility. Of course, the major primary liability is on the landlord. So let me tell you, the final, usually, this kind of case, they got settled. Because the person filed a lawsuit, they don't want to go to the court either. They just send out the letter. For no reason, eventually. 
for those people they send out the complaint, they may never visit your shop. They may never risk visit your store at all. They just send out a letter by the address in front of the database. And they know once they send it this out, almost for sure they will get the compromise. Almost they will get the settlement. Because you know the business business owner they don't want to spend the money to the lawyer and they don't want to spend the money in the court. So I just want to bring out this issue. If you want to run any business and you have your store, you have your small facility, and just be watched. And usually you need to make sure, okay? I know there are two solutions for this. Very common solution. One is the settlement, which is not good. Because you pay something already and this is all, totally off your expectation. Alright? So more commonly this kind of case got settled and usually settlement is paid by the uh, business owner and the landlord, 50-50. And the settlement among usually is not very huge, probably around ten thousand dollars. Around ten thousand dollars. Another solution you need to uh, think about that is, again, that's insurance. However, for my case, I asked my client, say, why don't you ask your insurance company to see if they will take care of this? But nine of the 10, they say their insurance does not cover. Does not cover, okay? Because this is a violation of the law. Because for each insurance policy, always there's one exclusion clause, say, if the instance happened for the violation of the law, sorry about that, we don't cover that. Right? I'm going to be a little bit confused. You say there is an owner, there is insurance, right? 